Welcome back. Next, we'll cover the audio options. Here, we can enable or disable the included audio player. The audio player controls are displayed in the icon menu. So as you notice, now that we disabled it, we can no longer see the play icon. So let's re-enable it and uh, go through some of, some of our options. Now, real quick, let's save again so that uh, you see exactly how the front end of the player works. Now that we selected auto, uh, autoplay, you notice that the icon is uh, automatically switched to, to pause and uh, the audio is actually playing just as we load the website. Uh, in addition to you are playing from a URL, we can also upload uh, our own songs to, to the media library, select it and, uh, and then just uh, uh, perhaps modify the volume. Uh, and uh, choose whether we want to display the controls or not uh, because we can play without showing them uh, and also if you want to autoplay or loop the track. Let's do a final test and uh, right now the music is actually playing but uh, we don't see the controls so uh, that's it for now with the, with the audio bit. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next page which is uh, custom code. Over here we can use custom CSS uh, to style our website. This is typically done by inspecting a certain element that you want to customize, uh, checking out uh, the CSS classes and uh, then writing the correct rules to target those elements. Uh, for instance, uh, let's try changing the color of, uh, of the body font? Perhaps, why not? Uh, let's go back to the, the admin panel and start writing some custom CSS. So let's say body color red. Now surely this won't apply to all of our text but you can get a feel for what custom CSS works like in Minigo. So now pretty much everything that wasn't specifically uh, set to another color is red. Let's also try uh, changing the H3 weight to bold and uh, the color to blue. Of course, more complex customization will require quite a bit more CSS, uh, but you see how this works. Next, let's move on to custom HTML. Over here, uh, we can paste code that goes before the closing of the body tag. So we can include tracking scripts or even, even custom contents. Uh, this is about it. Uh, next, we're going to look at the page settings. I'll see you then.